now. By popular demand, Deb is back. Bumped by Congress yesterday, but so graciously <laughs> came back to us. That was kind of important. Yeah, I you're, guess. exactly. You know, you're all ready to go, and then <laughs> next thing you know, it's uh, some big doings in uh, Washington D.C. But we're talking about uh, six reasons to preserve and can food because you are oh. uh, all about canning these days. Oh, okay. It's become a bit of a problem for me, Brian. Okay. So we had an overabundance of tomatoes in our garden this year, and mm -hmm. I decided. I want to learn how to can so I can save these. Sure. I had canned years ago when I was a little kid. It was a long time ago. So I did my research, did my homework, and I've got some great resources that helped me. And I started and I canned those tomatoes and it was a moment. And then I wanted to do more and more and more. And I'm, I'm loving it. So there's a lot of good reasons to can your food. Mm -hmm. By the way, here's a gift for you. Wow, much I know, appreciated. I that. Oh, I know. apple maple jam. I'll apple some of that. maple jam. Yes, thank you. So the reasons to do this, one, is because it's a great way to preserve food that you grew. Mm -hmm. Again, I had, those are apples from our tree. Yep. Actually, you've seen the apples on our tree. Of course, yeah. Yeah, real live. Um, the other thing that's great about uh, canning food is it's a great way to support local farmers. So I've purchased tomatoes and onions at farm farmers markets and I've canned and preserved those so you're helping them out the third reason is because it's your food you made it you know what's in each jar sure oh yeah great point yep always good um, it's also a nice way to have food on hand especially as we get into the winter months it's not you know there's something comforting about opening a pantry and seeing all of that yes. glorious delicious right. food that you prepared um, it helps you save a little money and makes great gifts as we've just discovered. Exactly, apple maple jam, there we yeah. go. Yeah, and so it's pretty easy to learn how to do this. Um, I used a water bath canning method, which is very easy and costs very little to get started. I purchased everything at the local hardware store. Um, there's also pressure canning, which is a little more advanced, but you can learn all about that by going to these resources. UMaine Cooperative Extension um, has a great uh, information about canning if you go to extension.main.edu there's a lot of publications that cover all sorts of topics related to food preservation mm -hmm. usda u.s department of ag um, also has a complete guide to home canning so go to usda.gov and search canning Great. there's videos and tutorials ball mason jars now ball mason jars are sort of the standard mm -hmm. jars right. that people use they have a fantastic website and the canning 101 guide and a lot of of recipes um, at ballmasonjars.com and then there's a lot of Facebook groups that I find to be really helpful because yeah, sure. people will post hey did I do this right right how do you do this um, canning freezing preserving and food storage is a page I really like and a couple of words of advice from lessons I've learned always follow the recipe to ensure food safety yeah okay okay so some of the ingredient the ingredients are very important to ensure that your food is preserved and safe to eat mm -hmm. months from now right um, once you start, you will want to can more. Okay. I started with tomatoes, and yeah. now I'm canning pretty much everything I can get my hands on. <laughs> Red onions, jalapeno peppers. Yes. Uh, I could can that. Yeah. I could can that. <laughs> it's a little cuckoo canning. Um, and it's a fun way to get your kids involved. They sure. can help prepare the apples. If you're making applesauce, is really easy. Right. You could do it. I can't wait. You could totally I think, do it. Well, hey, we, uh, I, I'm, now that we've had this conversation, I think perhaps I could. I can't wait for Christmas morning when everybody says, oh, Deb, uh, more cans. Ah, thanks. You're welcome. Couldn't go to TJ Maxx. But I appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. It's all good. No, I, 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 I love it right there. Apple that maple jam. So I can't wait to have some. Good. With real main maple syrup. There you go. Oh, and uh, just a little tease here. Big shoot planned this Friday. Oh, yeah. Potential crossover event. Eat your heart out, Dick Wolf. Uh, the Law and Order folks with the SVUs and the Chicago's and all that. We got a big event coming up that we will bring to you in the weeks ahead. Emmy, Emmy worthy. I would hope so. Oh, for sure. All right, thank Don't you so much. Don't miss it. All right.